More now on today's top story. The controversial audit of ballots found no fraud in Maricopa County, confirming what several prior audits and counts found many months ago. And after all this time, the Cyber Ninja team confirming President Biden did officially win the 2020 election in Maricopa County. Political editor Dennis Welch is live at the state capitol. Yeah, and Senate President Karen Fan, who called up this audit, she held a press conference a little while shortly after everything wrapped up down here. It was about 10, 15 minutes. She took, answered a lot of questions from the press. And even though these auditors found no hint, no evidence of voter fraud, she says it was all worth it because it did raise some questions about the election process here in Maricopa County. I should also mention a lot of those issues that were raised here um, were immediately refuted by county election officials. So how do we move forward? What happens after this? Well, according to FAN, she is going to be looking at new legislation, drafting new election legislation that is based on some of the findings right now. Nothing specific at this point, but there will be committee hearings. There'll be a lot of discussion about how they will be legislating moving forward. And she also mentioned that she'd be willing to ask Governor Doug Ducey to call a special session even this year if it was needed to pass some of this legislation. Um, no word yet if Ducey would be uh, willing to agree about this. However, another high-ranking uh, politician in this state, Attorney General Mark Burnovich, Fan said she wants to ask him, the top lawmaker, uh, lawmaking official, again, in Arizona, to get involved. She wants him to investigate some of the findings in this report from the Cyber Ninjas. And here's what she said when I asked her about what she wants from Mark Burnovich. No, I think he needs to look at everything that's in there. Obviously, some things are more important than other things, Dennis. Um, you know, we're wondering why there were duplicate ballots that were marked duplicate on the outside of the box, but they did not have coinciding numbers on them with the originals because it's difficult for anybody to ascertain if they're really duplicates or not. I certainly would like to have him check into the fact that somebody logged on and there were over 30, 37,000 entries that were done very quickly in a very short period of time which uh, ended up making the logs roll over and deleted some of the data from the very beginning because it overrode the original things. So there's some questions in there that just aren't making sense and I'd like him to look into them. Now it's interesting to note that Mr. Burnbridge sent out a press release earlier today saying that he would do whatever it takes and investigate anything if it came to it. So we should also mention that this comes after President Donald Trump, who has been claiming voter fraud baselessly for months now, had put pressure on uh, Mr. Burnovich in a, press, in a press release today saying that he needs to act on this audit, needs to act immediately. And one other thing else to consider when it comes to Mr. Burnovich, he is running for the Republican nomination for the U.S. Senate. And Mr. Trump's endorsement is a very coveted one in that race. At the, at the state capitol, Dennis Welch, send it back into you.